Hi, I'm Rebecca Yates, Product Manager for Telehandlers here at JCD. And today we're gonna to talk about load charts, what they are, what's included in one, and why they're important. So a load chart is critical to the use of a telehandler. It tells the operator how much the machine can lift at any given point. And load charts are the device that actually shows the operator that detail. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna run through the main components and these are gonna be similar no matter which manufacturer of telehandler um, that you may be working with, um, but it's really good just to make sure you know what all the components are and why they're important. So first off, each load chart is model and attachment specific. So you need to make sure that you're using the right one. So every machine should have a stack of load charts in the machine, always with the machine, and they're gonna be separated by attachment. The one we're looking at today is a 72 inch carriage with 72 inch pallet ports on a 51056. So if the machine is large enough as well, like our 51056, it may have outriggers. And as the operator, there's, you need to know that there's gonna be two load charts. It's gonna be one for outriggers up and one for outriggers down. So depending on what you're doing, you need to make sure you're using the right one. So beyond specific to the model and the attachment, you'll also find the load center. So the load center is indicated by half the distance of the fork. And that's really important because it changes how much weight that you're gonna be able to put on the machine. Next, we have boom extension indicator. Now this could be numbers or letters depending on the manufacturer. And there's gonna be decals on the boom to show you how far out you are. And we'll get to see that a little bit later. Next, you're gonna have the boom angle indicator. So here on the edge, you can see the arc. And on this machine, it goes from zero degrees all the way up to 60 degrees. Next, you're gonna have how far out the boom is in feet for reach, and then how far up the boom goes. And you're gonna have your distance, how far up, and how far out in reach. So there's a lot of information here on this slow chart, but as you combine it all together, you create these bands that indicate how much the machine can lift at any given point. So now that you know all the components of a load chart, you're also gonna to need to know for your application, how much does the load that you're lifting weigh, how far out and how far up does it need to go? So now we're gonna go outside and take a look at a machine in action. And now we're out here with the machine. And as we discussed earlier, there are physical indicators on the telehandler that help the operator use the load chart. And one of those things is gonna be your boom extension. So here you can see the boom extension indicators, the one, two, and three. And as the boom extends, you're actually gonna be able to see more numbers and they relate directly to that load chart. They may also be letters, that just depends on the manufacturer. The other thing that you're gonna see is your boom angle indicator. Again, this is noted on the load chart, and as the boom goes up and down, that angle is gonna change, and you're gonna be able to see that number and reference it on the load chart. So again, from the, from the seat, the operator has all this information available to them to make sure that they're using the load chart properly. And now, let's look at an example. And now, let's look at some specific examples. So say you have an operator who needs to place a load 35 feet high on scaffolding, but can't get any closer than 25 feet between the scaffolding. And so what we're gonna do for the load chart is we're gonna look, we're gonna go over 25 feet, and we're gonna come up 35 feet. And as you meet those two points in the middle, you're gonna be at 2,000 pounds. So we know that the operator can place a load of 2,000 pounds up 35 feet while staying 25 feet back from the scaffolding. The other way you can do that is kind of reverse engineer it from the operator's seat. So in that, you're actually gonna use the boom extension indicators and the boom angle indicator. So on the machine behind me, 
the operator can see the number four and the boom angle is about 20%. So we're gonna come down to four and come over to 20. And here we're in the band of 4,000 pounds. So the operator now knows that they can lift 4,000 pounds in that position. Outriggers are up and we have our 51056 with a standard carriage. So there's a lot of information on a load chart, but if you take your time and walk through it slowly, you'll make sure that you are using the telehandler properly and you'll be a pro in no time. If you have any questions, please reach out to one of our dealers or you can visit our website at jcb.com. I'm Rebecca Yates, thanks for watching.